today back then. What happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1700, the Great Northern War begins in Northern Europe. In 1719, the oldest existing life insurance company is founded in the Netherlands. In 1733, Englishman James Oglethorpe founds the U.S. state of Georgia, the 13th colony of the 13 colonies, and its first city at Savannah. In 1773, the first public colonial American museum opens in Charleston, South Carolina. In 1777, Mission Santa Clara de Assis is founded in what is now Santa Clara, California. In 1793, the U.S. Fugitive Slave Law is passed, which requires the return of escaped slaves. In 1809, the 16th President of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, is born. In 1809, Charles Darwin is also born. I didn't realize the two were the same age. In 1816, the Teatro di San Carlo the oldest working opera house in Europe is destroyed by fire. In 1818, Chile declares independence from Spain. In 1825, the Creek tribes cede the last of their lands in Georgia to the United States government in the Treaty of Indian Springs and move west. In 1848, the Sicilian Revolution of Independence takes place in Sicily against the House of Bourbon. Also in 1848, the ballet Faust premieres in Milan, Italy. In 1850, George Washington's original farewell address manuscript sells for $2,300, or about $70,000 in 2022 money. In 1851, gold was discovered in East Central New South Wales, sparking Australia's first gold rush. In 1855, Michigan State University is established. In 1870, Women residents of the Utah Territory are granted the right to vote. In 1878, Frederick Thayer patents baseball's catcher's mask. In 1879, artificial ice is created in Madison Square Garden for the first time to make an ice rink. In 1880, the National Croquet League organizes in Philadelphia. In 1908, a long-distance radio message is sent from the Eiffel Tower for the first time. In 1909, the NAACP is founded. In 1911, the University of the Philippines College of Law is formally established. Three future presidents of the Philippines are among the first enrollees. In 1912, the last emperor of China abdicates at the age of six. You should check out the movie about it. It's a great movie. In 1914, in Washington, D.C., the first stone of the Lincoln Memorial is put into place. In 1915, the United States House of Representatives rejects a proposal to give women the right to vote. In 1924, George Gershwin's iconic Rhapsody in Blue premieres. Also in 1924, President Calvin Coolidge makes the first presidential radio speech. In 1931, Vatican Radio begins broadcasting with the call sign HVJ. In 1932, Hattie Carraway becomes the first woman elected to the United States Senate. In 1935, the USS Macon, one of the two largest helium-filled airships ever created, crashes into the Pacific Ocean off the coast of California and sinks. In 1937, the Cleveland Rams are granted an NFL franchise. In 1938, German troops entered Austria. In 1940, the Adventures of Superman serial premieres on the Mutual Radio Network. In 1941, the first injection of penicillin into a patient occurs. In 1942, U.S. painter Grant Wood dies at 49. In 1949, Annie Get Your Gun closes at the Imperial Theater in New York City after 1,147 performances. Also in 1949, the Canadian hockey team beats Denmark 47-0. Would have liked to have seen that one. In 1955, the McGuire Sisters' single Sincerely hits number one and stays at number one for 10 weeks. Also in 1955, President Dwight Eisenhower sends the first U.S. advisors to South Vietnam. In 1957, researchers announced the development of Borazan, which is harder than diamonds. In 1959, the caves of Niria are rediscovered in Spain. Also in 1959, the Lincoln Memorial design on the U.S. penny goes into circulation. It replaces the sheaves of wheat design. In 1962, Operation Chopper, the first American combat mission 
in the Vietnam War takes place. Also today in 1962, a bus boycott starts in Macon, Georgia. In 1964, the Beatles' first New York City concert occurs tonight at Carnegie Hall. Hope you got your tickets. In 1967, Dr. James Bedford becomes the first person to be cryonically preserved with the intent of future resuscitation. In 1969, in one of the greatest upsets in sports history, the New York Jets defeat the Baltimore Colts to win Super Bowl III. In 1970, a three-month-old baby receives Canada's first successful liver transplant at Montreal's Notre Dame Hospital. In 1971, All in the Family premieres on CBS TV. In 1974, Alexander Solzhenitsyn, winner of the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1970, is exiled from the Soviet Union. In 1977, the Toronto Maple Leafs shut out the Washington Capitals 10-0. In 1978, Jesus Christ Superstar closes at Longacre Theater in New York City after 96 performances. I always thought it had lasted a lot longer than that. In 1984, Jane Torville and Christopher Dean skate Bolero at the Olympics, receiving perfect scores and the gold medal. In 1985, actor Nicholas Colasanto dies at only 61. He was best known as coach on the TV series Cheers. In 1986, Congressman Bill Nelson takes a ride aboard the Space Shuttle Columbia as a mission specialist. In 1989, Wayne Gretzky sets two NHL records today, his 45th hat trick and his 10th 40-plus goal season. In 1990, in Hagersville, Ontario, a tire dump fire, which was set by teenage boys, forces hundreds of families from their homes and causes massive air pollution. In 1991, an act of the U.S. Congress authorizes the use of military force to drive Iraq out of Kuwait. This led to the Gulf War. In 1993, a pair of 10-year-old boys kidnap and then beat to death two-year-old James Bulger at a Liverpool, England shopping mall just to see what it was like. In 1994, Edvard Munch's painting, The Scream, is stolen. It was recovered a few months later. Also today in 1994, the 17th Olympics Winter Games open in Lillehammer, Norway. In 1997, Fred Goldman, the father of slain Ron Goldman, says he will settle for a signed murder confession from O.J. Simpson in lieu of his $20.5 million civil judgment. In 1998, 19 European nations agree to forbid human cloning. Also today in 1998, Intel unveils its first graphics chip, the i740. And I thought the i740 was a BMW. In 1999, President Bill Clinton is acquitted by the United States Senate in his impeachment trial. In 2000, Peanuts cartoonist Charles M. Schulz dies. Also on this day in 2000, American singer-songwriter Screamin' Jay Hawkins dies. Also today, former Dallas Cowboys coach Tom Landry dies at 75 after battling leukemia. In 2001, Downtown Disney opens to the public as part of the Disneyland Resort in Anaheim, California. In 2004, the city of San Francisco, California begins issuing marriage licenses to same-sex couples in response to a directive from then-Mayor Gavin Newsom. In 2006, a powerful winter storm blankets the northeastern United States, dumping one to two feet of snow from Washington, D.C. up to Boston, Massachusetts. The storm dumped a record 26.9 inches of snow in New York City. In 2007, an armed gunman shoots and kills five people at the Trolley Square Mall in Salt Lake City, Utah, before being killed by the police. In 2009, Colgan Air Flight 3407 crashes near Buffalo, New York, killing 50 people. In 2010, the 2010 Haiti earthquake occurs, killing an estimated 316,000 and destroying the majority of the capital of Port-au-Prince. In 2014, former New Orleans mayor Ray Nagin is found guilty on corruption charges and sentenced to 10 years in prison. Also in 2014, Intel entrepreneur Peter Diamandis states that 50% of U.S. jobs are under threat of being mechanized within 10 years. In 2016, Pope Francis meets Patriarch Kirill in Havana, Cuba for the first meeting between Catholic and Russian Orthodox church heads for nearly 1,000 years. 
In 2017, an emergency spillway at Oroville Dam in California threatens to collapse. 180,000 local residents are ordered to evacuate. In 2018, during the Pyeongchang Winter Olympic Games, American snowboarder Jamie Anderson retains her Olympic slopestyle title, which she won at the Sochi Winter Games in 2014. In 2019, the World War II aircraft carrier USS Hornet, which sank in 1942 with a loss of 140 sailors, is rediscovered near the Solomon Islands. Also today in 2019, NASA data shows the world has gotten greener, 5% more leafier since the early 2000s. And also in 2021, Tokyo Olympics Chief Yoshiro Mori resigns after his comments that talkative women made meetings drag on too long. So that was February 12th. It's only two days until Valentine's Day. Just a heads up. 